All right. Live in living color. What's going on? How's how are you guys doing? <clears throat> Blocking my light here. Let's see if I can. There we go. That's a little better. A little better. What's up, tackle friends? Tackle freaks. What is up? How's it going, Landon? Henry, how's it going? Mel. All right. The funk is in and CT is here. Sweet. How's it going, man? Good, good, good. We're going to have a good, a good, a good, a good little, got some good stuff going on tonight, guys. We're going to be, uh, giving away uh, those crappie lures. Uh, we're going to be talking about um, the four-in-one tackle box uh, that I was telling you guys about that I did a video of. I'm going to show you um, the deep diving crankbaits and how to, how to uh, store those. What up, Terry? How you doing? I've also got... Uh, some other cool stuff I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing another giveaway tonight as well. We're going to be doing it real time. And uh, it's going to be based on a little bit of trivia and uh, a little bit of guesswork. And uh, like, for example, when I go through the four-in-one box tonight and show you all the deep divers I got in there, uh, we'll do like we did last time. We'll we'll let you guess how many deep dive and crankbaits you think are in the box. And uh, whoever comes closest to the number will get to spin to win. Spin my spinning wheel. I got this wheel. Check it out. The Mr. Bass spin to win wheel. <laughs> it's like Wheel of Fortune almost. So that will be fun, I think, to win a prize this way on the live video. So, yeah, it's kind of cool, isn't it? We, uh, I don't know how I came up with this, but I actually did. So that's going to be fun. Uh, put a little suspense in the live in the live show tonight, which will be fun. What's up, C. Lemansky? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Uh, and we'll see. I'll probably give three or four away tonight. I'll probably let three or four guys spin the wheel tonight. Uh, Jan Cologne, good to see you, man. Just off work, ready to relax and have fun. So, some of you guys that just jumped on, we're going to be doing this tonight. I'm going to let a few guys, I'll have to spin obviously for you. I'm going to let a few guys win prizes on the wheel here. What should be fun? Yeah, I think it is going to be fun. Going to be cool. Going to be cool. So, <laughs> let's see here. Let's uh, 
Have you had any luck with the scum frogs? Yes, I have. It's too cold right now, but I have caught some fish on the scum frogs. That new launch frog is really cool. I, I like it a lot. Um, if you fish the older scum frogs, uh, they got great consistency. Uh, the, the, they hook up really well because the plastic's so soft. But the problem with the scum, old scum frogs is they were small and super light, and they were hard to throw in the wind. Uh, kick your bass. How's it going, man? Yeah, the, those scum frogs are hard to throw in the wind. So they created this launch frog that has a weight. It has a weight in the frog. And that thing casts a country mile. And it's bigger. And uh, it, it, I, I really enjoyed fishing with it uh, this summer. I did a video on the scum frogs. I don't know if I showed myself catching a fish on it or not, but... I had one day where I went out with it and the fishing was just terrible. I, no matter where I went, I couldn't get a bite on anything. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, scum frogs, Henry, worth the money, man. Just make sure you get the launch frog. That's the kind of, that's what you want. Jansen, how's it going, man? New viewer, I just recently found your imitation mega bass jerk bait video, I think, from last year. That got me subscribed. Good deal. I'm glad you found me too, man. Maybe you'll win something tonight. Uh, let's see here. So I've got uh I got a few folks that um I'm gonna go ahead and just periodically start giving away some of the crappie lures. If you watched my comparison video of the Lucky Tackle Box or the Monster Bass Panfish Boxes and put a comment in the video, in the comment section of that video, then you, you might win a prize tonight. Um, so let me tell you up front how to claim your prize if I announce you as the winner, I will then go back to that page, to that video, and in your comment, I will reply to your comment and tell you, congratulations, you're the winner. And then what I need you to do is send me your mailing address, DM it to me, to my Instagram account. And my Instagram account is at Mr. Bass TV. At Mr. Bass TV is where you send me the address. You just DM, go on to Instagram, send me a DM, and that's how, I mean, DM me your address and I'll mail it out to you. So the first winner, uh, the first winner of uh, the crappie baits is Henry Rosener. And Henry's on tonight. So congratulations, Henry. You're the first winner. And I'm gonna give I'm gonna pull out a cup. I'm gonna give each winner mostly two or three, two or three lures. So I'm gonna give uh your you have won the rabid baits foxtail lures and this uh monster bass sticker so that's what you won henry dm me at mr bass tv and i will send it out to you also every winner is also going to get a free Mr. Bass sticker as well. So congratulations, Henry. Uh, we'll do a couple more winners here uh, while we're going on. The next winner, I'm just going top of the list to the bottom. Jan Colon or Cologne. Sorry, Jan, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. 
Jan, you win. The Excite Baits XB1 Square Bill Crankbait in Bluegill Supreme Color. That is a cool. Uh, that is a cool square bill. And you're also uh, winning some of these uh, Bait Ridge Tackle Grubs and a Mr. Bass sticker. All right. Next. Baba or Boba Stars. B-O-B-A, stars. You are the winner. You are a winner. And you have won a pair of split ring pliers. Split ring pliers. That's just one gift there, plus a bass, Mr. Bass sticker because that's a pretty expensive gift right there. Congratulations, man. We'll do one more here and then we'll talk about some tackle and then I'll, I'll, I'll go back to this in a minute. All right, this one we'll do three. You'll get three, three things here. This is Carl Olgren, O L G R E N, Carl Olgren. Carl, you have won the Strike King mini spinnerbait. Some mustad hooks. The California Classic Bait Company sticker. And of course, everybody gets a Mr. Bass sticker. So congratulations, Carl. Right on, right on. Split ring pliers, that's right. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit uh, about this... Uh, four-in-one tackle box one of the guys asked me about it <laughs> and it's pretty cool <coughs> if you remember here it is i put one of my stickers on it though uh if you remember i had this thing full of square bills and i showed it to you on the live video and i had a ton of square bills in this thing in that thing uh, I'm going to make this kind of the first contestant giveaway on the spin the wheel. And what I am going to, so this is how, how this will work. I'm going to ask you a question and, uh, then you post the answer. Whatever answer I see first is the winner. And I don't know if you'll see exactly the same first as I do because of, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, you know, uh, bandwidth issues or whatever. All I can do is go off of what I see on my screen. So when I see the first correct answer on the screen, then, then you will get to spin the wheel first for a prize. So the, here's the first question and it relates to this box right here. How many Square bills did I have in this box when I showed it to you the other day on the video? Kick your bass. Pretty close. Okay. I got a winner. It was 95. Kick your bass was close. The Funkin' CT cl was close, but it was 95, 95 square bills. So congratulations to Leo Decker. Leo Decker. Now, this is kind of 
I don't know how I'm going to do this. So you can see that I, I'm going to have to get better, better at technology, but, uh, Let me turn this a little bit this way. Dang, my lights are in the way. All right. Leo. You can see all the lures on here. And before I spin this, the only thing I need to know from you, you're going to have to answer on the deal there, is what is your shirt size? Small, medium, large, extra large, whatever. I guess if it's personal, you don't want to tell me. You don't absolutely have to tell me, but extra large. Okay, good. I have an extra large shirt. If you win the Taco Warehouse shirt, I wanted to make sure I had a si I had your size, and I do. So here are the prizes. I'll go through them real quick. A pack of Cinco's, a Thunder Cricket, Live Target Sunfish, Lake Fork Baby Ring Fry, Excalibur XR50, which is a, a lipless crankbait, Jewel Pro Spider Jig, uh, Tackle Warehouse Hat, B8 Lab Dizzy Diver, Booyah Prank Popper, a Dobbin Spinner Bait, an Excite Baits Crankbait, Trilene Fluorocarbon, Tackle Warehouse shirt, live target crawfish, rattle trap, back to the Cinco's. So that's what you could win, one of those. I'll fix my camera next time so you can actually see this better. So since you won, Leo, I'm going to spin it and, and see what you won. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to turn this one light off and see if that's... Ah, there we go. You won a live target sunfish. Woohoo! Congratulations. Let me show you what a live target sunfish is in case you don't know. Here it is. So this is a uh, topwater lure. And it's similar to a topwater frog. It has two hooks in it, like a topwater frog has. And uh, this is a great pattern, the sunfish pattern. They come in several different patterns. It's five eighths of an ounce. It's three and a half inches long. And you fish it just like you do a topwater frog. It works really good on, uh, yeah, the crowd goes wild. Uh, it works really good over beds in the springtime uh, as well. But you can use it in the summertime as a popping frog, and that's a great bait. I think you'll really enjoy that. So I've got to make sure, Leo, I write this down so I don't forget. You got the sunfish from Live Target. That's a sweet bait. Actually, it's... Uh, it's not cheap either. All right, I need to wipe that one off so I can, uh, so we don't do it again. All right, that was fun. So that's the way we're going to do it uh, as we uh, go through this. All right, uh, let me put the wheel down for a minute. Greetings, JB Fishing and stuff. How you doing, man? You're just in time to catch some of the action, man. It's a frenzy of giveaways tonight. All right, now, here is the cool box I was telling you about. And it has a bunch of deep divers in it. Just one of the viewers wanted to see about deep divers. And I will just tell you, I was skeptical about deep divers. I didn't know if uh, deep divers would work in this or not, and I'm surprised that they work as good as they do. Um, well, a big problem with deep, deep divers is something like this. This, of course, is the Strike King 10XD. 
and it's a big fat lure with a huge bill and the very best absolutely the very best uh box i found for deep diving crankbaits is this right here the bass mafia deep cranking coffin is fantastic for deep diving crankbaits and i had all of them in here before i took them out and moved them over here uh the biggest problem with storing deep divers is the bill the bill does not fit in most boxes in fact the only box that i can actually put 10 xds in is a big deep uh plano 3700 this thing right here because uh they're so big they take up so much room they just won't fit in most boxes and they won't fit in this either and the reason they don't is they're just the body of the bait is too fat to fit in one genius thing about this cranking coffin is the bills are the biggest problem with deep divers and they just have a big open lid that closes down over the bills and it solves that problem. It's fantastic. If you'd like to know more about this cranking coffin, I got a video on my channel about it. So when I put the deep divers in here, that was the first thing I thought, man, these fat bills are not going to fit in here, but they actually fit way better than I thought. Let me show you the different trays. I had to put the big, the ones with the biggest bills on the top here because the lid's a little flexible. It does still, the lid does still squeeze down on them some, but it really works pretty good. Then the second layer, this is the worst layer for space. And really, <clears throat> you can't put a lot of deep divers on this. You might say, well, those look like deep divers and they kind of are. There's 5XDs in here. 5XDs go fairly deep. But when, I, when I'm thinking about a deep diver, I'm really thinking about 6XD or deeper, bigger bait than that. These, these, John, these little Johns work really good, and they go pretty deep. This goes 9 to 12 feet deep. <clears throat> and this is called, uh, I think it's called the, it's called the Big Daddy 70. Uh, Big Daddy 70 fits great in here. I've got some, uh, some Bagley diving bees. They, they're supposed to go up to 16 feet deep. These, they fit fine on that second shelf. What's the bluegill behind me? The bluegill swim bait behind me. Uh, you talking about this one? This one right here, you're getting me off track. Pretty sweet. This is called a Depths Bull Shooter. Pretty big lure. I think this is the 190 size, if I remember right. They have like a 160 size, I think, and a 190 size. Maybe some of you swim, bird, swim bait experts can correct me on that. But I think this is about the 190 size. <clears throat> it's beautiful. I mean, look at the detail. The purple here. The orange. This turns to green on the gill plate. And then the orange chin. And it's got a pearlescent purple belly. Man, this thing is beautiful. Big fish has to eat that, though. Not going to catch a lot of little fish on that thing. <clears throat> Slow sinking. Yes, you're right. Kicker bass. Slow sinker. <coughs> yeah, it's sick. Sick, sick, sick. 
I think we all stare at the base behind the wall. Yeah. Uh, knock yourself out. All right. Then these are more traditional deep divers that I put in the bottom. These are kind of skinny deep divers, and they work great. And they're not super skinny, you know. You got the the Norman DD20s and stuff in here. And uh, here's another, some even bigger. Uh, uh, this is called the Little John DD by Spro. That's a big lure. But the bill's still skinny enough that it fits underneath the shelf. I love this color here. That's the that's the a good color. And then of course uh, these bombers. These bomber fat-free shads, they're kind of old school, but they still are great. Great ledge fishing lures. Right on, right on. And uh, so whoever asked me about this, I can tell you that this box works really good for deep diving crankbaits as well as square bills 95 square bills and 51 deep divers i got on here and you know you could you could put probably more if you didn't go with super big ones like the 10xd the 10xds are huge as i was saying i mean they're really huge have you guys ever seen one of these? This is a uh, Rick Klun deep diving square bill. Is that thing crazy or what? Are the Spros expensive? They're, you know, I don't know what those Spros are going for right now, but I'd say they're probably not super cheap. I could look that up. Pretty cool looking square bill there. Crazy. Here's another interesting bait. This is by Strike King as well. It's a super big fat square bill. I think they call this like the 8XD square bill or something like that. I, I call it that because it's about the same size as a as an 8XD regular crankbait. This is a 10XD. The 8XD crankbait like this is about the same size. It's a big honking fat square bill though. Really unique. I, I, I don't know of many companies that make such a big square bill out there. It's really different. Yeah, the RC Freak. That's what they call those. Here's another one. A little cooler color. Well, different color. Big RC square bill. Pretty sweet. And of course you can put uh, uh, DTs. Put DTs in there. And this brings me to another question here that we can do to spin the prize wheel. This is a, a Rapala or a Rapala, whichever you want to say, DT, crankbait. For the win, to spin, in order to spin, what does DT stand for? What does DT stand for? Kick your bass, got it, he's first. Dives too. That is right. Bing, bing, bing. You are the winner. Dives too. You're right, Landon, JB. You guys got it right, but kick your bass was first. So let's give him a shot. We'll spin the wheel for kick your bass. All right. What do you got your eye on? Kick your bass. What do you what would you like to win? <laughs> a 
Sorry, Henry. I can't help your internet speed. All right. Kick your bass while you're deciding. I'm going to go ahead and spin so we don't have a lot of dead time here. Let's see what you win. Kick your bass says anything. All right. Let's do it. The Jewel Pro Spider Jig, one of my favorite jigs of all time. Woohoo! That's a great lure. This is the 7 16 model. And uh, the color is green pumpkin, green flash. And these are great, great jigs, especially in around rocky, rocky stuff, but I throw them everywhere. Great, great jigs. Hopefully you uh, you will like it. Maybe you've tried them, maybe you haven't, but I got on these a few years ago and just love them. They make several different sizes. The 7 sixteenths, I believe here, is the biggest size. So that and a Mr. Bass sticker. Kick your bass. Wins the jewel jig. Nice. All right, let's go back to our uh, let's go back to our uh, crappie giveaways. All right, the next person that I call has won a Strike King Series Four Pro model crankbait. Powder chartreuse powder blueback and some Mr. Crappie two inch slab delicious in monkey shine color. This is what you're going to win. And of course, the Mr. Bass sticker. And the next winner is Chuck Main. Chuck Main. Congratulations, Chuck Main. You are the winner. Nice. Next, let's do one more of the crappie giveaways here. I'll put all these in one box. All right, the next crappie jig winner will win the Bobby Garland Mo Glow Baby Shad Swimmer and Blue Ghost and the Road Runners. That's the prize, and the winner is Ronald Rogmore. Ronald Rogmore. Congratulations, Ronald. You are the winner. And just as a reminder, if you're a winner, send me a DM on my Instagram channel at Mr. Bass TV with your address, and I will get these out to you. So congratulations, man. Right on. All right, so that's the deep dive in crankbaits. Now what I'm going to do now, put this outside, and I'm gonna talk about another one of my favorite lures. A really awesome lure out there. I just did a video on this, but I don't think I've posted it. So you will see an unboxing video of me where I talk about the Kitech Crazy Flapper. If you don't have an 
on Instagram. Yes, you can email me. Uh, I will I will get you that email address. All right. So, how many of you have ever fished with the Kitech Crazy Flapper or know anything about it? The Kitech Crazy Flapper is a cool bait. It's a creature bait. Here's one out of the package. And it's a creature bait. Look at this cool color. This is called something like green pumpkin spice, I think. It's got a really nice green pumpkin pattern on the on the on this side. And then it goes to this spicy reddish color on the belly. It's a sick color. Yeah, I got it on a uh, biffle head at the moment. But you can fish this a lot of different ways. You can flip it and pitch it. You can put it on a Carolina rig. You can uh, put it on a as a jig trailer. You can uh, put it on this biffle head, swinging head, jig. There's a ton of different ways to fish this thing. It fishes, if you've ever fished a brush hog before, uh, this is kind of similar. They're, they're, they're what I'd call competitors. A brush hog and a crazy flapper are competitors. But look at the crazy things that a crazy flapper can do. Uh, I'm going to pull this one out. This is another really cool color. It's called sprayed grass. And look at it. It's got like a green pumpkin blue flake belly. And when you turn it around, sick purple, kind of a purplish fleck color. It's really, really cool. But let me show you real quick what you can do with the Kitech Crazy Flapper. You can just rig it just like I showed you on this, the full size deal. And if they're really eating big stuff, that works great. But you can also trim this thing down a lot of different ways. So let's say you're going through thick stuff. You got a heavy weight on this and you're trying to punch through really thick mats. These appendages are kind of useless. No big deal. Just peel them off. Now you got a really slender, firm body here that works great punching through tight cover. It'll drop in in, in in brush and limbs and tree limbs and thick matted grass with a heavy weight. It works great that way. So if you notice, it has a lot of flappers. It's got two outside flappers, two inside flappers, and then it's got a tail. If you want to move a lot of water, but you don't want them to get all tangled up, you can just leave them all attached. They're all attached right now. But if you need, if you need to move a lot of water, you just pull them apart, just like this, and suddenly you've got all these flappy appendages that really make a ruckus in the water, like you wouldn't believe. Really sweet. Then here's something else you can do with this thing. You can peel the inner flappers off like so. Now you got a crawdad. A really cool crawdad bait that you can that, that works great that you can you can put you can you can actually fish this weightless. You can you can also fish it on the biffle head if you wanted to. You could punch it. You could do everything you wanted, but you've got a crawdad now instead of a huge creature bait. Thanks, Bo. And then here's something else you can do even more that's even also cool. Like I said, you want a jig trailer? Well, look at this head. This head has a perfect uh, a 
perfect groove here. Bite the head off. Now you got a really sweet jig trailer. This bait is awesome on many, many levels. But this is one of them because it's so versatile. You can take one bait with you. And then when you get out there, if the conditions are telling you you need to downsize, you need to take appendages off, you need to be not so big and bulky and flappy, you can tear that thing down to something really cool like this. Yeah, funk, uh, the funk, you could Ned rig it. So this is kind of a useful lure because you can take one lure in your tackle box and you can fish it a lot of different ways and you can break it apart and fish it a bunch of different ways. Another good thing is if you start catching fish and you tear the head up, no big deal. Just bite the head off, re-rig it, and you can keep fishing it. They're pretty durable. They're pretty tough, and they really last. And uh, I think they're great lures. And uh, Kitech USA right now has a uh, sale going on a lot of their products. And these, these, these crazy flappers are, are in this part of that sale. So you may want to check those out. The crazy flapper, an alternate to the brush hog, if you so desire. And I'll, I think I'll give a pack of uh, crazy flappers away next week. Uh, I've already got my baits picked out for the spin the wheel here, but I'll, I'll give those out next week. Let's go ahead and continue to give out the rest of these uh, crappie lures. All right. The next, the next uh, person that wins will win these bait rigs, little, uh, little uh, uh, tubes, and a uh, lipless crankbait and fire tiger made by Lurker Lures. And the winner of this one is. Dan W. Dan W. You win the Lurker Lures and the Bait Rigs. Congratulations, man. Nice, nice. Oh, Jan, man, he's got the old drum roll going now. He's even got emoji drum rolling going on. All right, we got two more to give away here. The next uh, giveaway is going to be, this is out of the package because I took it out for the video to kind of show you up close, but here it is. This is a Rebel. It's called the Rebel Deep Teeny Wee Crankbait in Flaming June Bug. It's a really cool color. And uh, these bait rigs. Super skinny little wormy things. I don't even know what they're called. But that's the next prize. And it goes to JB's Fishing Stuff and More. JB's Fishing Stuff and More. You got the Rebel. The Rebel Wee. Congratulations, man. The Rebel Wee. All right, last, last crappie lure to give away. It's uh, not really a crappie bait. It's these Excite Baits fluke style things. And a cool little Rippin' Lips crankbait. It's a tiny crankbait. I really like the color of this thing. It's kind of got like a holographic side to it. It doesn't say what the name of the color is, but I think it's cool. And these go to David Turnbow. David Turnbow, you are the winner of the Rippin' Lips and the Excite uh, Fluke. Congratulations. Nice job, nice, nice job.
All right. Let's spin the wheel again. Here's one of the questions. First come, first serve. To spin the wheel, the question is, I just filled the four-in-one box up with deep diving crankbaits. How many crankbaits did I put in the box? You can't win twice, by the way. 51, you are right. Henry, you have won. Henry, congratulations. And, oh, wait a minute, Henry. Yeah, yeah, you can win. Uh, you won the crappie thing, but you can win on the spin the deal. What I, what I, I it's probably, that's probably fair. You just can't win, spin the wheel twice in one night. So, Henry, good job. And I tell you what, I'll go ahead and let Terry spin as well. 36, kick your bass, man. You weren't paying attention at all. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll let Henry and Terry both spin to win. You were almost on top of each other. And since Henry has won a crappie lure, I will, I will, let, I will, I will give you a chance to win as well, Terry. So, we'll spin for you, Henry, first. Ready? The Cinco's, woohoo! The world's best lure, the Yamamoto Cinco. Let me show you what we've got. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, five inch Cinco. Congratulations, and this is a special order color. You cannot get this in most places. But I like this color. I special ordered it. And let me show you what it looks like. It doesn't look like much. It's very subtle. But the bass, a lot of times, don't care about flashy. So congratulations, Henry. You win the Cinco's. And I better write that down before I forget. Cinco goes to Henry. All right, let me wipe that off. And not the other one I forgot to wipe off. Oh, what was the other one? The jewel spider jig is already gone. All right, so uh, Terry Nance, you're up, buddy. Let's give her a spin and see what you win. Thunder Cricket, Thunder Cricket and Green Pumpkin. The Thunder Cricket is a great lipless or a great vibrating jig. And this is the Green Pumpkin color, half ounce size. So congratulations, Terry. It's an awesome lure. It is gonna catch you a lot of fish. So congratulations. Wow, this is pretty fun. I said I was only going to do three, and I've already done four. Terry, Thunder Cricket. I think we'll do two more. But uh, before we do, what else you guys want to talk about? Hit me with it. <sighs> I'm tired of thinking of stuff here. Uh, what do you guys want to? What do you guys want to see? What do you want to talk about? Should I use the Cinco's or are they collectors? I don't use those things, man. You got to fish with those bad boys. Special order, special color doesn't mean anything more than if you pay enough money, Cinco will make you any color you want. So. Having a pack of lures sitting on the shelf, even if they're a special color, if you don't fish them, they're worthless, man. Fish them. Spinner bait, swim baits. What's your favorite buzz bait? My favorite buzz bait, man, 
I'll go grab it and show you real quick because I can't think of the name of it at the moment. But uh, let me go grab it. You're going to have to stare at the wall for about 30 seconds. Okay, here it is. The Booyah Squelcher is my new favorite buzz bait. This sucker is awesome. And I didn't know about this buzz bait, to tell you the truth. Uh, I got it. I think I got it in a Monster Bass box this summer. And I took it out to my favorite little honey hole and I slayed them with this thing, and I caught fish with it over and up. This is a, a great, great buzz bait. I love it. So that's my favorite, man. I highly recommend it. The blade is shaped a little different uh, on this thing. It, it's got a curve to it. I don't know if you can see, see the blade there. It's got a curve to it that just kind of does something to the action and and you can uh you can do it fast but you can also retrieve it really slow and uh it is awesome really awesome really fun so that's a great buzz bait yeah war eagle does make pretty good buzz bait there's a lot of great buzz baits out there believe me it but but uh i love it three eighths or half these are half out or these are three three eighths but I try both, you know. The one good thing about it is the three eighths on these cast, uh, they cast well. But you know, sometimes if you're in a lot of wind, you may need the heavier half ounce. Uh, but they cast well and they and they have really nice action in the water. Caught more pike and bass than I thought can count with a black one. See, I don't have any pike down here, but I do fish for pike whenever I go up to Canada, and it is a blast. I love catching those big pike and musky. Yeah, Dad Bod, I don't know. I haven't tried that mega bass, uh, Jamaica Boa, but if you get it and you try it, I'd sure like to. I'd sure like to know what you think about it. All right, what was the other things that guys were talking about here? Uh, swim baits. Jackhammers. Thunder Cricket compared to the Jackhammer. Let's talk about that for a minute. How many of you guys have fished both of them? Jackhammer versus Thunder Cricket. The Thunder Cricket has a little unique shape to the blade. I don't think you can see it in this package. You might be able to. But the top of the blade, a lot of the, a lot of these uh, a lot of these um, chatterbait styles blades kind of go straight across or they're sharper. But the Thunder Cricket has kind of like this dome tip uh, in the blade and it gives it a different action and the only way i can think of to describe it is it's it's more subtle the vibration in the water is more subtle than uh you know i i, I really should try fishing in idaho i got a great daughter that lives there and i bet the fishing is awesome in idaho brandon polinick thinks it's pretty sweet Kick Your Bass says that the Thunder Cricket has a better hook. I haven't really noticed that, but it, it may be true. Um, I've, I've fished both of them, and I think I do slightly prefer the Jackhammer over the Thunder Cricket, but I think this subtle, the subtle vibration with the Thunder Cricket is something different that the bass haven't seen. So you're definitely going to catch a lot of fish on it. 
You definitely will. Henry more of a customs or original guy. Yeah, well, I would be too, but uh, you could probably get custom made uh, chatterbait a lot cheaper than you can for the uh, jackhammers at 15 bucks a pop. They are not cheap. The Thunder Crickets are a little cheaper, but what are those going for now? Uh, kick your bass, about 12 bucks, something like that. Terry says he's done really good on the Thunder Cricket, so it's a great lure. It really is. 13 bucks for the Thunder Cricket, yeah. That's, you know, about the same as the jackhammer. When the jackhammer came out, it was almost $20. It was, I think it was $20. And uh, it's come down to about $15 now. Yeah, the custom from Tackle Warehouse. I haven't tried that, Leo, but that intrigues me. I would like, I would, I would like to think about that. <laughs> yeah, Henry, it does work amazing. It does, it does, it does. Jackhammers are twelve bucks if you have the Carl's membership. Yeah. I don't know what you guys think of the Carl's membership. It's not that much. It's like 40 bucks a year, I think, for a Carl's membership at Catchco. It's the same company that makes uh, the mystery tackle boxes. And they do have some pretty good deals if you have a membership. So $12 for a jackhammer is a good price. Yeah, Dave Dave uh, Nemeth says 49 bucks a year for a Carl's membership. So if you're going to buy a lot of tackle, 49 bucks is not a bad deal. Leo's saying the custom is exclusive to Tackle Warehouse, so that's the only place you can get it. Even if you don't like Guggen, it's still worth it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a hater of Guggen's. I know there's a lot of guys that, that are Guggen haters. Uh, I'm just not a huge Guggen lover. Let's put it that way. I still think some of their baits are cool. I just did a unboxing. You can guys can go watch it of this Mondo kit, the Biggins Mondo kit. And man, I was impressed. There's some really cool lures in this thing, man. There really is. Uh, so I don't have anything bad to say about them. I just, uh, they're just not my favorite. It's all dad bought. I made $40 back in the first month between 30% off and free shipping. Well worth the money. Good point. You should try the contender that they just came out with. I don't know what the contender is. What is that? The funk, six cents. Yeah. Let's face it, six cents is the bomb. Six cents. I'd love to get sponsored by six cents and get a bunch of free crankbaits from those dudes. They got great, great stuff. Okay, the contender's a swim bait. Yeah, I didn't know that. I don't know about that. The bomb. Seven and a half inch swim bait. Uh, boy, you gotta love swim baits. I'm just getting into them like I told you guys last time, but man, these are some pretty sweet swim baits. I can show you some of these since some of the guys asked about them. This here is the River to Sea S Waver. Is that a cool color or what? If you like, if you fish where there's perch, this is a pretty good perch imitator. It also could pass for a bluegill. It's got this orange chin, great details. The S waiver is pretty sweet. And uh, I can't wait for my water to thaw out so I can throw this. Things are freezing up here. Although luckily I can still go to South Missouri and fish down there. Yeah, really nice. So that's the S waiver. Uh, I talked a lot about the, uh, 
about the Roman made negotiator. So I won't spend a ton of time on that, but dudes, look at that thing. You know, the funny thing about these Roman maids, they're handmade in Japan. They cost a ton of money and they catch fish like crazy. And I got several of these negotiators. This color here, they're all got Japanese names, so I can't tell you the name of it. Uh, but this is the one that Brandon Polinick was fishing with me that day. And man, his was just chewed up. You could tell, man, he's caught a lot of fish on this bad boy. It's got a dark green back, white belly. No, it's not $400. The mother, which is the, the bait like this that's bigger, is $400. This is not $400. Um, I'll look it up real quick and tell you what you can get a Roman-made negotiator for right now roman made negotiator taco warehouse sells them for 259 dollars and 99 cents 260 dollars boys and girls crazy crazy uh, I showed you the big old bull shooter. Here is very economical swim bait. And look, it's kind of copied, kind of copied by this. Brandon created this with storm lures. And it's close in size and shape and action and color patterns. And this, uh, what does Storm call this? They call it the Arashi Glide. The Arashi Glide. It looks good. It's plastic. You know, it's not wooden. It's not hand carved. So it's only like 40 bucks. 40 bucks compared to $260. You know, it's probably worth a try. You could buy six, six of these. Six of these. For the price of one of these. So they're 35, Dad Bot says. So if they're if they're 35, you can buy six and a half of them. Pretty good color though. This is a great color, actually. The thing about this color is it just works similar to this color. All oh, this one's more subdued. It just works all over the country. Just about everywhere you throw this, you probably got a chance to catch fish with it okay then i got some giants over on the other side here but let me show you one that i'm really excited about <sighs> this is the gan craft magnum And this is supposed to be a killer as well. That's the price of a subscription box. $40. You're right. It is. Uh, this is a, a it's supposed to be a great lure. This one, I haven't, I've not tried it yet. So I'm really excited to, to try this one. Uh, but just on all the swim bait forums, this is one that comes up a lot. And, and uh, for the price, I don't remember the price, but I'll look it up if you guys want to know. Uh, for the price, it's, uh, it's a tough, durable lure that catches a lot of fish. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, Gancraft Magnum. Magnum. $119. $120 at Tackle Warehouse for this one. And this, again, is another good color, you know, that it's going to work in my part of the world. Henry Rosner, is this the 303? Um, it's the 230. This is the 230.
the way they size these things, when they say like a 250 or a 230 or a 160, they're usually talking uh, centimeters or millimeters. One of those millimeters. I'm pretty sure it's millimeters. Yeah, it's millimeters. So pretty cool bait, pretty cool bait. And then uh, the eye slides, the 262, same thing, 262 millimeters. This is a beauty. Mega Bass makes this. Let's see a Ito Custom. Whew. This thing just feels beautiful in your hand, let alone it looks beautiful. Uh, it's it's something. The iSlide slide 262 is what this is. And again, this color pattern I think is just it's subtle. See, it's almost it's it's kind of a version of this really. In fact, when I buy a lot of swim baits, I try to look for patterns similar to this now. And even though th this isn't exact, it's still got this kind of vertical striping. It's just way more subtle. And it's got the greens in it, and it's got some yellow here, a little orange around the gill plate. It's got purple back here on the tail, but it's all super subtle. And I think these subtle colors are important because they, uh, you know, it's a sight deal. These fish really get a good look at these things usually before they eat them. And so subtle and natural to me is pretty, it's pretty important, I believe. What do I have uh, these mounted on? Well, um, all I do is put a, uh, uh, they've got, you know, their, their ring on here and I just put a plain old clip on it and then I just hook the clip on a nail. That's all I do. So I just got nails up here. That's how I hang them. I think these these kind of lures, though, you definitely want to hang if you can because these tails get ruined. You don't want these tails bent and mashed and in a box. So that's why I'm hanging them up for now. And then uh, when I take them out to fish, I'll figure out how to transport them. Lake St. Clair, Nathan Cook. I, you fish Lake St. Clair, huh? Have you seen my video yet of when my boat sank on Lake St. Clair? <laughs> it wasn't technically my boat, but I was a co-angler on a uh, tournament. It was uh, it was either an FLW or a BASS Open tournament. I don't remember which. And... Uh, we went out on, you know, it was at Lake St. Clair, and we went out and fished all day. The water was rough, but it was fine. And then we we really pretty much sank. We had to jump off the boat. We jumped off onto a buoy marker. We thought the boat was going completely under. It would just fill completely up with water. And uh, the Coast Guard came and saved us. They pulled us off of the uh, off of the bu buoys. Uh, at the channel there, those really big buoys out there on the channel. So that was an interesting experience. It was not my boat. I was not the driver. So I can say, even though I do have a boat and I drive it, I've never sunk my boat yet. I've just been in one that sunk. So go watch that video. It's it's on my channel there. It's It's got some pretty good pictures of it in the water. Uh, and crazy thing about that when we were out there, he said that guy told us that, uh, he'd recovered like 26 capsized boats just that summer out there on Lake St. Clair. So Lake St. Clair can get rough. Yeah, that was fun. All right. We're getting close to wrapping up time here. Uh, let's, uh, let's give away a couple more. Spin the wheel prizes before we before we wrap up. Um, 
So let me grab the wheel and then I will give you a couple of more trivia questions. Let's see which smarty pants knows the answer. All right. What is the name? I just gave away some Cinco's. And these are made by Gary Yamamoto. Every company makes a Cinco out there. What is the name of the stick bait or the Cinco style bait that Berkeley Baits makes? Berkeley Lures, Berkeley Fishing, they make a Cinco. What's it called? It's not called a dinger, Nathan. Uh, that's Yum. Yum makes the dinger. What's Berkeley make? Dad bod got it. The general chicken nugget. <laughs> uh, not quite chicken nugget, but hey, why not? Uh, Dad bod, you are right, man. Uh, the general is what it's called. And uh, I'll do a bonus. I'll do a bonus question on the same lines, because I just feel like giving stuff away tonight. On the same lines, what does Strike King call their Cinco style bait? Dad Bod wants the, the Dobbin spinner bait. What does Strike King call their Cinco style bait. Actually, they have two. They have two Cinco's. They've got one that has flat edges, which is my favorite, and then they got a regular round one. So you can use either one. There you go, Leo. Did you already win, Leo? You can't win again, Leo. So I'm skipping you. But you're right. If you don't know, look at Leo's answer. What? There you go, JB's fishing stuff and more. You're the winner, Ocho. And you can thank Leo for that. Good job, Leo, for giving him the answer. All right, so Dad Bod, you're the first to spin. You want the spinner bait? Let's see if we can make it happen. Here we go. Oh, it's blank. We got to do it again. Trilene fluorocarbon. Sorry, man. Although this trilene fluorocarbon is good stuff. Nothing to uh, nothing to complain about. Here it is. Two hundred yards. A fifteen-pound test. Trilene fluorocarbon. Plus a Mr. Bass sticker. So congratulations, Dad Bod. You won the trilene fluorocarbon. All right. Next. Next, Jan. Uh, Jan, you were the one that won the Ocho. You got the Ocho, right? Okay, Jan. Let me spin for you. Let me take off the erase the fluorocarbon. Ah, oh, the Dobbin spinner mate. <laughs> uh, Dad bod, man, you just missed it. You just missed the spinner bait, dude. Sorry about that, but congratulations, Jan. You won the spinner bait. Congratulations, congratulations to all the winners. I think that's going to do it for us for tonight, man. Men and ladies, Fisher ladies and my daughter, thanks for hopping on here. Appreciate you guys.
hanging out with me. It was a lot of fun. Appreciate it. We will do it again same time next week, Monday, 8 p.m. Central Time. It was JB, JB, JB. Okay. Thanks, Jan. You're right. JB, you want the spinner bait. Thanks for being honest, Jan. Appreciate that, man. You won the XB1 spinner uh, crankbait, so you're not a loser. Appreciate all you guys participating. Um, one last final thing for the winners. Go to Mr. Bass TV. DM me there with your address, and I will... Uh, and I will get your bait out to you. Uh, if you want to send me an email instead, you can send it to Mr. Bass at protonmail.com. Mr. Bass at protonmail.com. P R O T O N M A I L.com. Protonmail.com. Uh, you may need to get send me a copy of your ID just so I can verify it's you because there's a lot of people who try to steal stuff. But thanks everybody for joining me tonight. Thanks a ton for supporting the channel. I'm posting a lot of stuff, trying to keep it interesting. Hopefully you can spread the word. I'm trying to crack a thousand subscribers. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting close. Thanks again for all your help and support. Here, I'll uh, I'll put the uh, I'll put it on here, Mr. Bass at proton protonmail.com. All right. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Have a good night. Thanks again. We are wrapping up. We are ending in three, two, one. Adios.